Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and today in this video we are going to check out what will happen if I try running an x86 architectured Docker container image in MacBook Pro powered by Apple Silicon's M1 chip because in our last video we discussed Docker released a tech preview build for Docker desktop for Mac powered by Apple M1 chip but we never actually executed an x86 architectured Docker container image on the ARM based processor because as we know that this Apple M1 chip is basically an ARM processor and running an x86 architectured container image may not be running definitely that's how theoretically it should be so in order to prove that I'm actually gonna go to find a docker image for Jenkins uh, which is something I use a lot for my automation testing and most of the images that you can see over here on the Docker's uh, Jenkins image is based on the OS architecture of AMD64 uh, Linux, something like that. So if you just scroll all the way down, there is no ARM based architecture support or the OS support for that. So it's all Linux operating system. It's all AMD 64 bit architecture. So it runs on the Intel as well, definitely. So this is the uh, this is the way it's been designed at the moment. And if we try to run that, I am 100% sure that this particular container may not run. So to prove the point, I'm actually going to open the terminal and I'm just going to do a uh, maybe I'm just gonna paste this guy so if you just search for docker images you can see that oops I don't even have docker running so let me just run the docker desktop for Mac there you go so it's currently spinning up and it's up and running and now I'm just gonna do a docker images you can see that I don't really have any image related to the Jenkins at the moment so I'm just gonna paste the docker pull command that I just copied from here and it's going to download the Jenkins image from the hub.docker.com and then I'm going to try executing this and see how it actually works. So the command is actually available on the Jenkins documentation over here. Uh, so this is the command. So I'm just going to use the exact same command but just that the tag is going to be different. It's not LTS tag. It's going to be a, a CentOS tag I guess. So I'm just going to paste this guy as it is. And the tag is this one. So I'm just going to paste that as well. And I'm going to hit enter. So this way it is going to run the AMD 64 bit architecture processor uh, container for us. But once I tried running it, you can see that there is a warning coming in. I mean, this warning is not something which will be uh, displayed if you try running it in any other Docker container. So you can see that there is a warning saying the requested images platform does not match the detected host platform like Linux ARM64 or V8 and no specific platform was requested. So if I try Googling this guy, I know this problem because I face this in a different way while I try running an ARM based container in my x86 based processors. So you can see that uh, it's basically coming for the Apple Silicon directly. So if I go to the Apple Silicon here, it says that the container status exited and might need the Docker build X for the multi-platform. So if we read about the Docker build X for multi-platform, which means Docker started supporting the multi-platform architecture long time before, I guess they released like two years before. And if you go to the Docker uh, build X, so this is basically like an uh, way to build the Docker images like platform and processor agnostic so you can run for any platform and any uh, processor architectures and things of that nature so this is the command like build x instead of docker build which we usually used to do it's docker build x to build uh, with the with the configuration that we specify so this is something new and i have not tried that a lot building any images but this is a still an experimental feature uh, but yes you can set different configuration to run on different platforms well as that said let's quickly jump in and see what is the state of our uh, our docker container that we are currently running so if you see this guy this image is currently up and running over here uh, it says it is started which is pretty well and good as of now uh, let's see the terminal as well it looks like it is still trying to run but it's still not uh, running 
at the moment and i think it's stuck in limbo still the jinkey is not fully up and running at the moment and let me try to uh, run the local host colon 8080 and you can see that basically nothing is happening at the moment it's trying to initialize but uh, it is still not running no it's not going to happen i guess just let me do a control c um, and i'm gonna run this guy once again couldn't be able to cancel though you can see that behind the scene it's still running so there is some weird weird behaviors happening on the side let's see the stats you can see that the cpu usage is like 200 percentage oh my god this is huge i mean i have never seen my cpu usage spiking like this like 200 percentage um which is quite weird as well because the, it can be 100 percentage i'm not sure what is this 200 percentage means um and the memory usage is already like 405.2 so let's see if my mac is crying for its performance uh, not yet i'm going to open the activity monitor uh, the memory used is already like 11.68 gb it's like running the parallels desktop uh, on this particular mac so that much memory has been used just running a sim small container basically and um, if i just go to the logs now it is still trying to run and there is no way it's stopping at the moment and i couldn't able to really stop this particular uh, image so i'm just going to remove this guy as it is over here which is quite bad um, and if i try running it again and you can see that i get a crash pretty instantly it says that the fatal error has been detected by the java runtime environment uh, and blah 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 and it's not going to work so basically this architecture the arm based mac m1 cannot really handle the amd 64-bit architecture or any x86 based architecture uh, container to run on this particular docker so it should be an arm based uh, docker container and that's why these images must needs to be built on the arm based processor or arm based architecture if not this is not going to that's not going to execute so in order for executing it you can actually search for uh, something like jenkins for uh, eval i guess there is something called as jenkins for eval where you can actually see they have the uh, they have different architectured repositories as well so you can see that this is the jenkins uh, and if you go to the tags here you can see that uh, they have uh, the architecture not only just amd uh, 64 but they also have for arm 64s as well and if you just come all the way down over here you can see that uh, they have a jenkins which is for the arm 64 as well uh, so i'm just gonna get this one which is like arm 64 so i'm just gonna copy this and i'm just gonna go to the terminal i'm gonna paste this guy i'm gonna hit the enter so basically this jenkins is like an arm 64 uh, based uh, jenkins so definitely this should be executing and this is the way that we can actually execute an container which is targeted to run on ARM 64-bit architecture. And Apple Silicon M1 is basically an ARM processor, and that's when you can execute the container for us. All right, and now I'm just gonna execute this particular uh, Jenkins. So the Jenkins is basically uh, this one. Just gonna copy this, and I'm gonna delete these guys. I'm gonna paste it over here. I'm gonna hit enter. So you can see that it is currently running so quickly <laughs> just spawned up pretty instantly and if i go to safari and if i just open localhost you can see that the jenkins is up and running and if i hit enter uh, you can see that this guy is uh, running as well and i'm not gonna select any plugin at the moment so probably i can just remove all the uh, plugin selection which i really require uh, something like that i'm just gonna hold some of the uh, tooling probably but not all of them there you go and if i hit install you can see that the installation is going to start so the jenkins is basically now starting this container is actually running so now if i go to uh, the container which is currently running 
and if I see the stats, you can see that the CPU usage is like 5 percentage. Earlier, the CPU usage for that container was like 200 percentage, which is unrealistic. Definitely, the whole CPU can be like 100 percentage, but I don't know why it was showing a 200 percentage. I don't know what is the scale of my MacBook Pro uh, for the CPU usage. But yes, this is this is definite. That was definitely wrong, and this is definitely looking pretty better. So yeah, this is this is what is uh, the way that we can run and container on the docker guys so basically if we need to run a docker container on the apple m1 that particular container image should be arm 64-bit processor targeted image and if you don't really have that particular official image to be arm 64 you can target that using buildx if you really want to yeah, that's it. I think that's my whole idea to show this particular video. And you can see that the Jenkins is actually working fine without any problem. So that's it, guys. This is about the Docker container running on Apple M1 processor with ARM containers. Thank you.